Hello, let's continue our series of application of Doppler in ultrasonography. And now we'll talk about the power Doppler angio or power Doppler imaging, PDI, or uh, power uh, Doppler. The, all of these are having the same meaning. So what is this power Doppler? It's considered as a specific pattern of color Doppler. It has a color box and a color map. So they are sharing the same pattern, a color box and a color map. So what is the difference between power Doppler and color Doppler? To understand the difference, we need to know that sound waves are having frequencies and also have strength. The color Doppler using the autocorrelation is processing the frequency shift, the difference in the frequencies but in power Doppler is processing the strength, the strength of the reflected waves that carrying the, the, the Doppler shift. And that's why we know that the strength of the waves is represented as amplitude or power or intensity. So if we represent here the power as part of the strength of the or representation of the sound waves, the power Doppler is processing this power, the strength of the waves. So we need to know the difference here that power Doppler is processing the power or the magnitude of the Doppler signal instead of processing its frequency shift. Okay, so uh, in this way, since we don't have frequency shift processed, uh, we have no direction. We cannot tell is it positive or negative because we're not processing the frequency shift. Also, we don't have uh, uh, an um, amount or the velocity, we can't tell how much of the velocity, still we don't have uh, processing the, the amount of Doppler shift. We are processing the strength of the waves that are reflected back. So no direction and no velocity information. No direction, or important to mention, no direction and no velocity information carried by the power Doppler. So in power Doppler, since it's not using the same processing as color Doppler, there are two main differences. In power Doppler, there are more pulses, more packet size, and that's why the temporal resolution is reduced. Okay, the, another thing also is that it requires more persistence, more frame averaging of the power Doppler imaging, and that's why it takes a, a, long, a longer time also to finish one frame, and in this way, the, the, the frame rate also is reduced. So, as we see here, when you apply power Doppler, you notice that the frame rate dramatically reduced. Why? Because of this, the more pulses, more packet size is required, and also more persistence, more persistence of frames to form one frame. So this is here example of a, an image with power angio. And how you have you noticed here, there is a color box and also there is a color map. And the color map has one color only. As we tell before, it has no, uh, no direction. So we cannot tell this is towards or, or toward the transducer or away from the, from the transducer. It has only one color and this color, it has many shades or many hues. So the hue of the color or the shade of the color here is representing the strength of the waves, not the direction of the waves. So what are the advantage of power Doppler imaging? Number one, it's not angle dependent. So no matter what the angle you are using, it can bring you the image. Only the only thing that it should not be 90 degree or perpendicular to the direction of the flow. Other than that, it, it can process any angle. Uh, second thing, because it has, does not process the velocity, <coughs> So it has no subject to aliasing. It is not subject to aliasing. Uh, so this is a second benefit. So number one, it's not related to the angle. Second thing, it's not subject to aliasing. Third thing is very sensitive, highly sensitive. Highly sensitive to what? To very low velocities. And this is the reason why it can be used in many applications for the clinical practice. For example, it can distinguish occlusive from pre-occlusive stenosis. Uh, it's better visualization of the plaque surface, uh, better detection of tortuous vessels, and better detection of tissue or mass vascularity. 
So talking about the advantage now bring, brings us to the limitations or the disadvantage of power Doppler imaging. First of the disadvantage that it has no velocity information. We cannot tell the velocity is it high or low velocity of the blood flow. Second, we cannot tell the direction of the blood flow. Is it towards or away? We cannot tell that. Is it toward the heart or away from the heart? This is second uh, disadvantage. The third thing that is very noticeable with the power Doppler imaging uh, among all the other uh, Doppler applications in ultrasound is that it has dramatic effect on the frame rate. It slows dramatically the frame rate. Uh, and the fourth one is because it's very sensitive, we know that very sensitive. So any slight movement, either to the transducer or the patient, might bring what you call the power Doppler flash artifact, flash artifact. It might be noticed more because of the, the persistence. We, we know that there is a lot of persistence or more persistence or the frame averaging with the power Doppler angio. Uh, that's why the flash artifact will stay uh, longer. You can see it uh, more longer than the flash artifact that happened with color. Uh, so to, to see the difference or more comparison of the differences between the color and power Doppler, okay, we have certain uh, criteria here. For example, the angle, okay, color Doppler is dependent, angle dependent. Power Doppler is not angle dependent. Direction of flow can be processed, no. In power Doppler, no. But in color, yes, we can process the direction. Okay, velocity yeah, is not that not uh, not processed in power Doppler or not displayed. But in, in color Doppler, yes, we can see the velocity. You can tell the velocity is it high or low. The aliasing it might happen with color, but not with power Doppler. Uh, sensitivity. Uh, Comparison, comparison wise, the power Doppler is more sensitive to the lower velocities and the frame rate is reduced in color Doppler, but in power Doppler is markedly or dramatically reduced. Thank you and hope that was beneficial. See you later. Bye bye.